I like this version so much better than the original. The lightsaber is a little bit of a turnoff, but Nayam's detailed description helped a lot. Judging from the colorful description that Nayam gave though, Sungho has a dragon as a dick. <laughs> I wonder if it shoots flames. <laughs> Or maybe it's a Crimson Dix Excalibur. <laughs> what can I say? Byunduk is really enjoying this chapter. <laughs> Before we get started, I just want to remind our viewers that if you like seeing more Yaoi content and would like to support this channel, please don't forget to smash that like button. Also, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Feel free to message me in my Twitter or Instagram at SealedFujoshi, which I'll be using to interact with viewers about more Yaoi content. If that's something that interests you, feel free to follow me at SealedFujoshi. Finally, this video will contain explicit content and a lot of manhwa spoilers. With that in mind, please proceed with caution. You have been warned. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the special chapter number 2 of painter of the night that dick shadow has me dead <laughs> fuck censorship my curiosity wants to see Sungha's pp but from nayan's description that dick scared the bejesus out of me <laughs> i'm sorry but regardless of nayan's description i think that's a baseball bat <laughs> That man is hitting home runs with that shit. <laughs> My god. I am praying for Nayam's holy virgin hole. I'm imagining Nayam saying, Wait, that even won't fit, sir. <laughs> I feel like the author took pity on us. Since we can only see lightsaber digs, and she even went out of her way to describe quote unquote Sungha's member to us in detail. <laughs> Thank you, Bindak. <laughs> and exactly the same reaction as um, Sungha, I mean, uh, Nayam. How can such a thing be attached to a person's body? I swear to God, that's a baseball bat. <laughs> And I'm laughing so hard because this whole chapter, Nayam is just observing Sungha's member. <laughs> he didn't even notice that Sungha's about to ba 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 burst. <laughs> I'm laughing so much because I find this chapter so freaking funny. I think Byunduk did a superb job making us all laugh this week because i have a feeling that she's gonna slam us with a lot of emotion next week so just be ready for that but anyway this side story is so funny it's a nice release from the toxic relationship that nayam and sungho has from the main storyline so just for this special occasion, I shall dub thee Sungha the Impaler. <laughs> oh my god. I have so many dick jokes in my head right now because this chapter can be. You can create so many memes from this chapter, and I'm just laughing so hard because I can't wait to see the memes that's kind of gonna come out of this chapter. But other than the funny chapter, I have three questions in this chapter. First, I'm sorry, but how does Sungha know what the color of the member of a beast is? When and where did he see one? <laughs> Like seriously, <laughs> and what beast? <laughs> Second, am I the only one that wants to see Nayam's long hair? Cause that shit can't be short anymore. It's in a bun after all. So it has to be long. So now, cause we're so used to the short um, shortcut that Nayam has, now he has a long hair. So I kind of want to see his 
long hair down like see we haven't gotten this from Byung-dog I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who wants to see sung ha with his long hair down now I want to see Nayeom with his long hair down yeah. my gosh anyway in reference number three in reference to sung -ha's query that Nayeom was a virgin because his work shows how little knowledge he knows about sex. So let's put that in Byunduk's perspective. Byunduk must be a master when it comes to this topic because my god, all of the scenes uh, in Painter of the Night is so damn hot. So I think Byunduk is a master. Anyway, not only in the not only in the art of illustrations, but also in her private life. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to follow my social media to be teased about some of the boys' love that I'm interested in. Feel free to leave me a message and converse with me. I'd love to hear back from you. Also, don't forget to support the author. All the manual details can be found in the description below. Again, thank you so much and hope to see you next time.